So some of, some of you might be thinking the question right now, why would I need to do this without graphing if I can accomplish it by graphing? And my reason for that would be, what if you ever ran into a situation where it wasn't four comma negative three, but it was like 457 comma negative 358? If that were the case, you would not wanna do that by graphing because it would take forever to count out where that point would be. Or what if this wasn't zero comma five, what if, what if it was zero comma 5.723? So if the values get complicated, then you wanna be able to deal with the numbers rather than try and graph it. So what I hope you remember from last year is that slope is equal to the change in Y over the change in X. Rise over run. You guys have all heard rise over run before. So if we can remember that, that will help us to find the slope of this. What I like to do when I'm finding slope is I like to stack my two points on top of each other. and then look for that change in X and that change in Y. So if I look at my X values, the X values are going from four to zero. If I go to four, to, from four to zero, am I, am I adding or subtracting? Subtracting how much? So minus four, so my change in Y is negative four. Relax yourself, okay, we'll wait for the announcement. Um, and then we've got uh, our change in y, which is negative three to five. Are we going, are we adding or are we subtracting with that? Adding, plus eight. So that's an eight. Will we leave our slope like that though? Nah, we'd simplify it. Um, oop, what did I do wrong? I messed something up. Help me fix this please. I flipped my X's and my Y's. I put the stuff in the wrong place, didn't I? The negative four should go on the bottom and the eight should go on the top. I just did the exact same thing. <laughs> Sometimes your mind gets stuck in a loop. All right, um, and that ends up being negative two. All right, um, if we're trying to write the equation of a line that passes through this, then we need two things. We need a slope and we need a y-intercept. We just found the slope, the slope is negative two. How are we gonna find the y-intercept? Did anybody recognize that I actually gave you the y-intercept for this? The y-intercept is five, and what's special about this point that lets you know that that was the y-intercept? Because the x is zero. So this would be a plus five and we'd be done, All right? Okay, um, we're gonna go on to the notes. If you are in the group,